All right, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This battle's nuts after I researched it. This features two very powerful, destructive cosmic beings. Of course, I'm referring to True Form Darkseid from DC Comics and Bill Cipher from the show Gravity Falls. I'm going to go over both, discuss what they're capable of, and then in the end, I'm going to tell you who I think wins. If you like content like this, if you like my channel and you want to hang out on my server where you can win games, prizes, all that, talk to me every day, see scripts, see all my scans, all that and more, only $5 a month via Cash App. Definitely uh, comment down below if you want to get the Cash App deal and I'll hit you back. Also, check out the coffee shop members in the description. They make great content as well, so you're basically getting multiple doses of content similar to mine. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you subscribe to them as well. But without out the way, this is going to be a crazy high level high outer battle i know you guys love stuff like that so strap in we have bill cypher versus dark side in a battle that may surprise you i'm very excited to do it and let's begin first off we're gonna start with dark side i believe personally the best run to get feats for him from is odyssey so we're gonna use his odyssey feats i understand he's doing some new things in infinite frontier we're gonna let that develop potentially make a video on dark side in that capacity um, when that runs finished but and if you want to see me do one on him right now definitely spam the like button but anyways we're going to cover what he's done plus infinite frontier is kind of just confirming where i already put him but regardless let's talk about what he did in odyssey now dark side proved pretty early on that he can read the multiverse all of its timelines how people fit into the workings of the verse and this all occurred in issue two of odyssey the mother box that is just a tool to a being as high up on the cosmological scale as dark side is actually casually containing every medical fact and process in the multiverse and this amount of information is literally not even a play toy to him despite the fact that cyborg has mother box amped intelligence so multiversal slash creation type of intelligence and all three no dark side has manipulated them he still is able to style on them and completely orchestrate their journey in the verse dark side stated that he hid his power and that his true power is his contingency plan to neg the death of his people when creation is finally murked so essentially not only can he survive the death of creation he can literally preserve all of his people from it Cyborg sees the truth of what's all going on finally in the run and states that Darkseid has manipulated them so that he can finally achieve full dominance of all things even beyond creation. What makes this even more wild is that based on the description, this would actually just bring Darkseid to his true, full power potential. Darkseid negs and wrecks prepped brainiac defenses that can kill a new god, um, according to Darkseid. He tanks it regardless. According to Darkseid, breaking the universe or creation is above breaking space, time, and hypermath. Darkseid has done such things before on that high of a scale and will do it again on an unquantifiably higher scale, which is nuts. Apparently, in this run as well, Darkseid can handle the power of totality itself. He is also tanking blasts that are worse than the reset blast from New 52 that was literally a retcon of creation. Darkseid will ultimately tank the wave that eradicates all things in a blink, including the likes of new gods, which are archetypal beings. Darkseid is forced to deal with anti-life beings who feast on the dead gods and dead multiverses. They predate the dawn of existence itself, and he's able to deal with them and survive them anyways. He also states that he's faced them multiple times before, uh, before and extra-dimensional consumers like them aren't anything new to him, which is crazy. Also, keep in mind at this point, throughout, throughout all this, he's not even at full power. Darkseid says human thoughts and words can't possibly 
express what a fundamental cosmic force like himself truly is. Things and words like villain and villainry really do not encapsulate what Darkseid truly is and represents. Darkseid and his other box are supposed to be what can prevent Perpetua and Creation's ultimate death. Darkseid and the box use hypertime to retcon their actual stories as well, which is nuts. Darkseid at full power can also manufacture defenses against the destruction of totality. Darkseid said if he had been at full power, he could have actually negged the source if he had to. He also states that what he will do at full power is beyond what any hero has done before. So technically, you can consider things like Cosmic Armor Superman. Technically, if you wanted to. It is confirmed by Azrael, who is giving a speech to a crowd, that Darkseid's creation of the Ghost Sector is powerful enough to endure the entire end of creation. It then turns out, you know how I mentioned uh, Brainiac and Luther had been plotting and prepping? It turns out Darkseid had been watching them the whole time. He was amused by them and calls them intellectual children, which is crazy because we literally see Brainiac do extra dimensional math. It's nuts. And Darkseid's like, yeah, y'all are casuals. Get out of my chat room. Darkseid then reveals that he created a safety boat so insanely powerful that it could exist and exit outside of creation itself. And by virtue, it takes everything that would end everything. And it just leaves. The godly intellect of Darkseid is once again reviewed before the story ends. Cyborg, even with a mother box which has multiversal, multiversal levels of intellect, can barely even begin to process Spelunkor, which is a concept created by Darkseid. He kind of implies it's just infinitely or insanely beyond him. This venture seems mentally non-taxing so far to Darkseid, like he was completely unbothered by something that Cyborg literally, even with multiversal mental amps, can't comprehend. Cyborg then silently confesses that Darkseid is so far beyond human comprehension that in terms of dimensional, transcendental, and evolutionary ladders, he isn't even on the same ladder as the heroes and villains of the world. Even the mother box is nothing in comparison to the idea that is made living in Darkseid. Cyborg literally confirms that just basic math to Darkseid is beyond anything conceivable or comprehensible to the human mind. Cyborg was only barely able to do the math. The ability to do so entirely came from Darkseid simply allowing him to. Darkseid confirms that his actions are operated upon on a level far beyond the reaches of ideas, even like emotions. Darkseid also confirmed that he retconned Victor Stone casually into a being to serve as a new god. He states reality becomes what Darkseid needs it to be. Darkseid then rewrote Victor Stone to be the coder of creation. He also rewrote Starfire to be the fire of creation. Both of these powers and concepts get fodderized by Darkseid as he starts regaining power. Finally, Darkseid then detaches the Spelunkor from reality and the multiverse and breaks off. While developing his power, he explains how death and then the higher conceptual cosmic death cannot even claim him. He simply endures. So, we are done with the Darkseid section. It's time to move on to who I'm assuming a lot of y'all are probably really hyped to see because I've never covered him before. Of course, this is built. Well, I have actually. I covered him years ago. Really old video on my channel, one of my oldest. That was a rush project back in the day. But this one's fresh. This one's going to be very fun. Shout out to my buddy Grass Santa. Help me gather scans. I didn't have to go searching all over for them, but... Anyways, I'm going to break down Bill Cipher and explain to you guys why this is an amazing matchup. Bill Cipher is a dream demon who existed in the dimension beyond regular dimensions until he got tired of its restrictions and destroyed it. 
Now, of course, he has a bunch of hacks and abilities and all that. But what I'm really going to discuss is things that matter in a battle of this scale, right? So he's been able to regenerate from a quantum destabilizer blast that was said to have the power to blast Bill into non-existence. Time Baby states that Bill will destroy the very fabric of existence, then Bill proceeds to one-shot Time Baby. This is crazy because Time Baby can casually devour time. Not only that, it was stated at some point that Time Baby's relative to Bill in power um, also states that, you know, beings like this can stop time forever. But what makes this interaction crazy is that Time Baby in a special literally kidnapped the author and was able to affect real time on the other side, which would be our world. Kidnapped the creator of the show, Alex Hirsch, and was interviewing and interrogating him. And this being got one shot by Bill Cipher. Alex Hirsch, who is the creator of Gravity Falls on Reddit, um, was taken over by Bill. Bill Cipher's a goon. He, he actually took over the creator and stated that the name Bill Cipher is just a dimensional username and that the real name of Bill Cipher, if humans like us, even as, you know, watchers of the show, were to hear something conceptually as crazy as his real name, we would simply just like explode we would turn to dust it we would completely evaporate wild stuff also um in the reddit post hirsch who of course is being possessed by cypher states that bill is not bound by time at all and this should also include real time like real world time um so even real world physics don't apply to him which gets a little nuts He's also, in case you're wondering what's his specific place in the cosmology of Gravity Falls, he's the embodiment of the Nightmare Realm, which connects to all the infinite universes in the multiverse, basically makes up all the space in between reality and the non-realities and all that. Also, speaking of reality, non-reality, and things relating to such, in the Reddit posts, he was stated that he exists in a state of quantum uncertainty, which means that everything he is, he's also not. If you draw him on your hand in real life, supposedly, if you shake hands with yourself, you'll crush your enemies, but you'll also owe Bill Cipher, who will come to collect later on. He's also stated that he can rewrite the entirety of the laws of physics that govern creation pretty casually. The seven deadly sins are his babies. Um, during Weird Mageddon, Bill states that the party never stops, time is dead and meaning officially has no meaning existence is upside down and he reigns supreme and what makes this so crazy is at some point he completely warps the show to the point that he changed the theme changed the intro and changed it to saying gravity falls created by bill cypher bill is a non-corporeal entity um a goon who's been wiling out on uh, reality and like i said he's possessed the creator himself went on reddit went on forums to really talk about what was going down what was happening um and how he's above even his own creator um and he's always been a threat uh threat not only to his universe and creation but to the entire multiverse of gravity vault uh falls which contains infinite timelines and multiverses and overall I think it's safe to say, I believe, man, I think back in the day, I had him at like 5D because I found some spatial stuff, but Bill Cipher is way stronger than I originally thought. Damn, when I researched it, crazy. So, who wins if these two clash, these two monstrous, destructive, cosmic beings beyond human comprehension? I have Bill Cipher at his peak. The man was folding his own creator, and the creator of the show was completely affecting the show in its entirety. Overall, I don't believe Darkseid's been shown to be at that level. Yeah, he was affecting the stories of some characters, but the entire show was affected by Bill. He's going to go on Reddit and forums and stuff like that and just make shit posts. D, like, completely destroying Darkseid, completely tearing down his scaling, all that. He's going to be a goon. 
because of his insane levels of reality warping and you know layers in the narrative manip all that high outer crazy stuff i favor big boy bill cypher true goon form above the creator i think he beats dark side anyways let me know what you guys think if you guys like content like this let me know if you want to see bill cypher return maybe take on someone from the king verse hit the like button and comment down below anyways it's been your boy yfe and i will see y'all later peace